So, it's October, and if you're an art nerd, you know what time it is. To be completely honest, I have very silly motivation, and I did this several months ago, but now it's finally Inktober, so I can actually show you my creations. I'm participating in the official Inktober over on TikTok, but what I have for you guys over here on YouTube is Cattober, aka a bunch of prompts that I turned into cats. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. So, the first prompt on the list is coffee, and to be completely honest with you guys, I don't really like coffee. Coffee is just too bitter, and I am terrible at handling bitter flavors. A part of me wishes that I did like coffee, because then I could have a easy way to get caffeine into my system. But anyway, the first thing that comes to mind when I hear coffee is those like lattes with the caramel drizzle and the like lattice pattern. And that aesthetic is top notch, so I decided to put that on a cat. And when I got around to the end of the coloring process, I decided that the white background was too boring, so I added a green rug. Was there a way easier way to draw this? Yes, probably. But I didn't do that, and I spent so much time on this stupid rug. Moving on to the next prompt is ice cream. And I love ice cream. Ice cream is wonderful, and when it comes... When it comes to ice cream, there's so many different flavors to choose from. You've got your classic vanilla and chocolate and strawberry, but there's also like huckleberry flavored ice cream. Oh my gosh, that ice cream is just so good. If you ever have the chance to try huckleberry ice cream, do it. But for these drawings that I'm doing today, I wanted to keep towards the like... For these drawings that I'm doing today, I wanted to keep it closer to what actual cat fur is in real life, so I went with brown and white and put a strawberry ice cream cone smooshed on its head, and voila, Neapolitan cat. I'm looking back at it now, why did I think that shading the fur like this was the way to do it? Like, it doesn't match the style of the line art. Yeah, get ready for more of that, because you did this for all of them. The next prompt is villain, and this is the part where I get up on my soapbox and get mad at people who hate cats. Like seriously, what the hell is your problem? Cats are fluffy and adorable and can be very affectionate, but the thing is, is that you hate them because they bite you when you invade their personal space. Get over yourself. Like, you can dislike in the way like, oh, hey, I don't really like the color red all that much. But when you start calling cats like demons or hellspawn, like you're just encouraging violence against like a creature with the intelligence of a toddler. How would you feel if some random stranger walked around shouting about how toddlers are devil spawn and punted them off buildings? Like, seriously. You're allowed to not like them, just don't be an asshole about it. But anyway, rant over. This cat that I'm drawing right now is inspired by a photo that I saw a while ago. The pose just exudes lawful evil vibes, like almost kind of like a vampire. Like the classic vampires that are all like, that are like the, in the nobility type vibes. So I just went with it and adding some smoke and mist to give it a little more ambiance of like... Now the next prompt is witch. And throughout European history, cats have actually been associated with witches. So a witch cat is a very easy concept for me to envision. And it's been done many, many times before. So the spin that I decided to put on this was to have a silly witch cat. And I've heard from online and one of my friends who has an orange cat that orange cats are very silly boys. So this one has a fun personality and is playing around in a little cauldron. And to be honest, I am so proud of the shading that I did on the cauldron because like, it looks like cast iron, right? It's not just me. And given that it's a witch cat, I had to add some tiny stars into the hats to give it a little more sparkle. All right, guys, the last prompt for today is space. And the original idea that I had for space cat was it was going to be playing with like a little planet 
with like the rings, like Saturn or something. But I threw that idea away after I remembered about a certain post that I read a while ago. I'll put it up on the screen if I can find it, but I probably won't. So I'll just kind of, I'll just describe what it was. So it was like, it started with like a hypothetical slash writing prompt sort of thing of or there are two giant eyes in the night sky and they blink at you and someone replied filling out the rest of the writing prompt or whatever just blink back it's only proper to acknowledge the night so that whole post gave me the idea of oh there's a giant cat in the night sky that's like with the moon so this space cat is going to be playing with the moon. And, of course, it's not a space cat without a crap ton of stars in the background. So these are the first five prompts of Cattober, and I hope you like them. The next ones will be out sometime soon, hopefully next week. I don't know, my motivation might fall off a cliff or something, I don't know. But all in all, this whole like exercise of drawing cats has actually been pretty helpful. Drawing four-legged creatures is something that I haven't practiced very much at. I usually just draw humans. <laughs> Anyway, so none of these cats have names. If you have name ideas for any of these precious cats, leave them in the comments. And if there are enough comments by the time I'm editing the next video, I'll let you know what their names are in that one. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.